what's going on everybody this is Lawrence from sim coaches and in this video we are going to be talking about all the adjustment that we have in our p1 pro pedals so stick around watch this video and we're going to cover these let's do it hey what's up guys so in this video i'm just going to cover all of the different adjustments that we have inside our p1 pro pedals um the p1 pro pedals when we made them we made them extremely adjustable so that you guys are able to adjust them to fit the style that you want in your pedal box so if you're trying to replicate your race car that you have in your garage then you're able to adjust them um, to match that if you have uh, i don't know you have some other way that you want to set them up then you can get them set up like that so in this video i'm covering every single adjustment that we have on all three of the pedals um how you can adjust the base plate everything so Right now, I have a set that's right here. And um, these are not bolted down to the base plate at all. I kind of unbolted everything and I made everything fairly loose just so we can move them around and we can talk about each one of them. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is I wanna talk about this big base plate that we have right here. This is our maximum adjustment base plate. And if you look at it, there are a ton of holes drilled on uh, the plate. Whether it's mounting holes for the pedals or it's actual just mounting for this base plate, um, there's a ton. So looking at it, you can see that we have a ton of these uh, small, these are quarter inch holes. All these quarter inch holes are actually the mounting holes that you can uh, put for your pedals. So you can see all the different grid layouts that we have. You can imagine if you put a pedal on top of this, it lines up with those holes in a lot of different spots. So you're able to move the pedals forward, you can move them back, you can move them left, you can move them right. Um, you can completely change this to match the style of what you like. Um, for your pedals. So that's what all those holes, the smaller quarter inch holes are that you see on the plate. The countersunk holes that are all here, those are all different mounting holes. So what we did is we didn't want you guys having to drill uh, your cockpits or anything like that. So we looked at some of the different mounting um, configurations that other manufacturers were using in terms of their bolt pattern. And we incorporated their bolt patterns right here on our base plate. So um, the other larger manufacturers, the bolt patterns they're already using, we've already got them incorporated. So chances are this base plate will actually just mount right on your, your cockpit. Because chances are you have one of these or four of those uh, countersunk holes will actually end up mounting. The other thing we have on this uh, base plate is this heel stop right here. Now the heel stop is completely adjustable as well. And the purpose of the heel stop is so when the pedal is mounted and you have it on there, you have something that your heel can rest up against um, with your foot. Whether you pull the heel stop more for, uh, forward so that your heel is further away from the pedal or you put it right up underneath the pad, you can change it. But it's extremely easy and there's so much adjustment. So we just have these three bolts um, on the back side of the heel stop. You just loosen them up and you can start off by just sliding it. But if that's not enough, you can see all these other little holes. Um, there's a whole line of them that you can choose. So you can actually just use different mounting brackets even or mounting uh, positions for the heel plate too. So, so adjustable. I mean, I'm not even kidding when I say that you can literally mimic any car that you want um, out there. So that's the maximum adjustment base plate. Pedals come with it. They come uh, mounted on top of it. And I definitely recommend using it because this makes your pedal box way more stiff. Um, and you don't have to worry about flexing. You know, sometimes when you're using hydraulic pedals because they take so much more pressure, if your cockpit isn't stout and it's not stiff or braced, um, when you press the pedals, you'll feel a little bit of flex. So this base plate really helps uh, eliminate that flex. So that's the maximum adjustment base plate. Really nice piece. This is our throttle pedal right here. And the throttle pedal has um, a ton of adjustment in it as well. You can lean it. You can uh, change the, plate, the, the placement of its pad, the face, um, all this. So let's first start off by showing you guys um, the different connectors that we have out the back. We get asked about these a lot. What are these? These connectors are the ones that um, the individual pedals plug into. So there's a harness that would come from the clutch, the brake, and even the handbrake and plug into each one of these leads. So you have clutch, brake, handbrake. These leads are all exactly the same. There's no difference between them. That's why they're not uh, labeled. You could use one, any one of them that you want. Now, our pedals are also fully uh, compatible with SimuQ bases. So out of the throttle, you'll see this male lead sticking out. If you are using your pedals with uh, the SimuQ bases and you want to opt in to plugging them into your SimuQ, then uh, we will give you a SimuQ harness. It plugs into uh, the throttle, the brake, and the clutch. You don't use any of these and it plugs right up into um, the base. So that's what all the plugs are that are sticking out the back of the throttle. It's just uh, for all the electronics. The th throttle, it's featured with a uh, nine-way adjustable damper right here on the back. And that's where a lot of the feeling comes from uh, for the throttle pedal uh, is from the damper. Now, this is mechanical and it's really good for um, slowing your foot down. So let's just say that you are a driver that has a really heavy foot what you would do, and let's say you have a heavy foot and you always come out of the corner and you spin out because you press the throttle pedal too aggressively, 
what you would do is you'd come back here to the back of the throttle and you would turn this damper up from let's say maybe a, a, a position one to maybe like a position three. And what it does is it physically slows down how fast this throttle pedal can be pressed. Now there is a max to that, right? Because if you turn this thing up too high, it's gonna take so long to press the throttle that now you're gonna be slow. So it's a mechanical way that you can actually slow down how fast you press the throttle to uh, slow your foot down, keep you from spinning out when you're exiting the corner if that's something that you uh, are running into. And um, you can also set it to where there's absolutely no dampen at all and thing is super easy to press completely, okay? So that's what the damper is. Now our throttle pedal is fully adjustable in terms of how you can lean it as well. You can see the throttle position sensor on the side. It always is able to read an output from um, the pedal no matter where it's lean. Super easy to lean this thing. All you do is you just loosen these nuts. They could be hand tight. They have to be tight though, um, but hand tight's perfect. You can just loosen them a little bit, pull the uh, pedal back to where you want it, put the lean in it if you want, like if that's where you want it leaned, cool. Tighten back up these uh, hand tighten them and now the pedals lean back some. You know, you could even go uh, more if you wanted to. If you want it all the way back, just like that, if that's how you like it on the base plate, then you could do that. But it's super easy to change its position. You just lean it with uh, the damper in the back, okay? Now, on the throttle pedal, that's not all the adjustment. We have even more. You have these adjustments or these um, two holes on the back of the wishbone and you also have all these holes at the front of uh, the throttle pedal arm itself. Now, we're starting with the throttle pedal arm. As we move, um, as we go down on the holes, you actually start to allow the throttle pedal to have more throw. So it gets longer on its throw. As you move higher up on the holes, the throttle pedal actually has less throw. So it gets um, to max sooner the higher up that you go on both of these. So if you go down to the bottom hole here, in the back, you would actually be extending the throttle pedal's throw by about a quarter of an inch just doing that one change right there. You can see how easy it is just to move that damper. So now the throttle pedal actually has about a quarter of an inch more throw on it because it has a lot, uh, little bit more travel. Okay, and then you have the same thing with the uh, the damper here in the front. I don't ha um, have the tool quickly on me just to loosen that, but you can move this up and down to change the throw there. So that's our throttle pedal. Um, Boosted Media has said that this is the, the best throttle pedal that he has felt out of all the, um, the pedals that he's tested. He has talked very highly about our throttle, so we're really happy about this, how it's come out. Then that gives us um, our brake and our clutch pedal. Now, design-wise, the brake and the clutch are actually uh, exactly the same. The only thing that is different is the sensors that are on them. The brake pedal comes with a uh, 1000 PSI uh, pressure sensor, whereas the clutch comes with a 500 PSI pressure sensor. The other difference is just uh, what's on the shaft to compress them. So the clutch pedal feels more like a clutch. It's softer. It has a softer spring on it, whereas the brake has much stiffer springs and it feels, well, like a brake pedal. Um, so let's go into some of the adjustment on these two pedals. I'm not going to cover them both because they're both exactly the same. So we'll go ahead and talk about the brake. The clutch um, gets adjusted all the same way. So the clutch, we'll start with this guy, or the brake, excuse me. Um, this is the heim joint that connects the two uh, arms together. And the biggest thing that you would actually end up doing with the brake pedal is you would more than likely want to lean it, whether it's forward or back. All that uh, adjustment comes right here from the heim joint. You don't have to pull anything apart actually to adjust this. You loosen this nut that's in the back, and then if you push this boot back right here from the Willwood, you can actually just turn this rod um, with your hand. So you can see right now, I'm actually tightening, or I'm turning it, and um, I'll show you here in a second how much it moved. Okay, so now all I did is I uh, threaded the shaft into the hind and you can see that it's leaned back some. So it's really that easy just to lean um, the pedal to change how, how it feels in terms of uh, lean. So it's all just connected right there with the hind joint. Right here on the back, this is our uh, physical pedal stop. Okay, so when you press the, the, the pedal down, uh, it would actually reach this and it would stop. That keeps this shaft from ever getting bent. So it's just a physical stop keeps the pedals um, in good condition and you know uh, keeps them from getting damaged from pressing on it just way too far. Now the biggest thing about um, these pedals is actually how they feel. And we do supply you with um, two different spring sets when it comes to the brake and two different spring sets when it comes to the clutch. Right now on this brake pedal, we have our stiff springs. And these are bevel washers. And what we do is we cut the bevel washers like this. And it gives you just a much more realistic pedal feel. It actually feels like you're pressing down, um, you're pressing the calipers out on a brake disc. You can actually feel it engage. So with the stiff springs like we have here, it actually would take more than 500 pounds of force to compress those springs. It's really, really stiff. Underneath your foot, this brake pedal actually feels like you're kind of pressing up just against the wall. It doesn't have much travel at all with these brake springs. Now, you can see it's just barely moving. 
this simulates a formula car, an LMP car, a really high downforce car that has its braking zones in a really small zone. You have to brake to its limit fast, you gotta get off that brake fast, okay? Um, there's a lot of benefits to having this, this stiff brake or a brake that you can spike the brake pressure so quickly on a high downforce car because you can make the brake zone so much smaller. Now, let's say that you don't want the stiff brake pedal. That's okay. You can change that right here with our bias knob. So with the stiff springs, you kind of just have a stiff pedal because they're so uh, they're really hard to press. But if you take that knob off, it has all these springs and you can just take them right off like that and it exposes the shaft. So now instead of using those hard springs, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a set of the soft springs. And what you're gonna see is uh, how different the pedal feels underneath your foot now. Well, it's not gonna be under your foot, but it's gonna be under my hand. And what you'll be able to see is uh, it'll actually compress. So give me a second and I'm gonna put all these springs on. Okay, so these springs, there's two of them. And you can see that they are uh, they're beveled right there. And so when you put the two of them together to create a little bit of a pack like that, and now with the two of them um, cupped they're like this, you'll actually see them uh, compress. So they'll, they'll press like that and you'll feel that underneath your foot. So this is actually the secret to hydraulic pedals. It's what you're able to compress on that cylinder. Because if you're just putting polyurethane bushings or urethane bushings, there's no reason to have hydraulic pedals. Um, because that's literally what you feel under your foot is what you're compressing. So if you're just using the same bushings that are on a load cell pedal, you might as well just go use load cell pedals. You'll save yourself some money. But if you want to actually um, experience the benefits of hydraulic pedals, then you need to put something on the shaft that takes hydraulic pressure um, to compress. So now I have the soft springs on here. Still with my fingers, I would not be able to do, like press on those really hard. But with this much leverage, you can actually see now the brake pedal um, compresses, okay? And it actually feels like a brake pedal. Now, if you wanted more throw, you could even take, you can move this back and you can change the position um, of the hard stop. You know, you could take the lean out of the pedal, put it more upright and you'd have more throw that way. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can adjust that. People all the time also there, um, you can totally tune the way that this feels by adding some stiff springs into the pack with the soft ones. So um, totally customizable. There are no rules to this. Literally just make it feel the way that you want it to feel. Uh, and yeah. So with the, uh, with the knob, it, with the soft springs, you are actually able to add preload and take preload away from the pedal. So this knob here, um, if you turn it uh, clockwise, then what it's gonna do is it's gonna add preload onto the springs. And now essentially these springs are already compressed some. So when you go to press it with your foot, this brake pedal now is going to feel um, stiffer than if you had no preload on it at all, okay? So if you want a stiffer brake pedal with the soft springs, then add preload, and then you'll go press the brake and you'll feel it'll be stiffer. If you want it to be softer, leave the soft springs on, take preload out of it, just butt this uh, knob basically right up to the springs, so there's no preload, just like that. And now if you press it, super easy to press, okay? It's really soft brake pedal. The soft springs, um, they can be tuned all the way down to 75 pounds of force to compress the springs, all the way up to about 200 pounds of force, 200, 250 pounds of force um, that it can compress. If you want anything stiffer than that, then you have to put those uh, stiff springs in and replace them. So that's our P1 uh, Pro Pedals. That's everything, our maximum adjustment base plate, the throttle pedal, the clutch pedal, um, as well as our brake. If you have any questions on our pedals, feel free, drop them down there in the comments. We'll come by, we'll answer them for you guys. Um, you can always send us an email at support at simcoaches.com uh, and we'll also answer you that way. So with that, uh, we are gonna close off here. If you're looking at hydraulic pedals, the Simcoaches P1 Pro pedals are definitely uh, something that you should uh, look into. With all of our pedal sets, we include a lifetime warranty. So it's a buy them and forget about them. Uh, we build these things to last. They're the highest quality pedals in the market and the only pedals that come with a lifetime warranty. So it's definitely something to uh, think about, definitely something to look into is the Simcoach's P1 Pro Pedals. And so uh, with that, we're gonna close off here, guys. If you have any questions, like I said, leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, keeps us motivated, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.